What do you mean by you clean house? You like just got rid of the parts of the agency that you didn't like didn't doing like. or you outsourced them to other people or how'd you do that? So it was all personnel related. And so to walk the fine line of what I should and shouldn't share on a podcast here, I gotta, I gotta be careful on this, sure. but essentially there were, there were, there were members of an agency that were working in opposition to my vision. And I had tolerated behaviors that I think shouldn't have been tolerated. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and so I actively corrected that problem. <laughs> Good. And, and yeah, so I know how that goes sometimes. And so I let my people know that these behaviors that I had previously tolerated are no longer acceptable. And if these behaviors exist, I will remove you from the organization. And then I did, and I took care of it. And so now we're back on like full Pope vision. Now I, I gotta tell you, that wasn't easy to do, right? Like there were members of my organization I made a lot of money on. They were profitable people, which is why I tolerated some of those behaviors. And so by no longer tolerating those, I took a financial hit, right? But it's, it's the right thing to do when you want to get back to your vision, right? And get back to how you want to run a business. And so, so those are hard things business owners have to do from time to time. It's even harder when you run everything pretty publicly, right? So, yeah. so people can piece together the puzzle um, of, of some of the elements I've said here, and they could look somewhere else put the rest of it together pretty easily. So yeah, I, I think it makes a lot of sense and it's 100% true. I mean, when you're smaller, not necessarily as much of a financial hit as a time hit, right? Because you might hire someone mm -hmm. who is okay at what they're doing, but not great where they should be great. And yeah, you can fire those people. But then you're going to have to do a lot of that stuff yourself and train a whole new person. So you just kind of keep tolerating mediocrity for too long. And that can be rather harmful to a business long term. It really can, because then the rest of the team's like WTF, like I'm sticking to the vision. And this guy's not right. Like, why should I? Right. And so it creates a, you know, so so sometimes when you when you cut the cancer out, uh, you have to go an extra layer deeper because what you can't see on the surface is that the it permeates underneath, right? And so the cure is not just simply to remove the cancer. Sometimes you have to remove things underneath that as well. And so that that was the most shocking development for me is is that I didn't realize the permeation, uh, the effect of of that situation, right? And 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 so it it, it took longer. Um, to correct that than I had expected, right? And some of the things that I had tolerated ended up getting tolerated a layer deeper, right? And, okay. and so multiple level, layers of removal sometimes is required uh, to, to cure that. Um, but, but a lot of the, the books that I've read um, are part of my culture, are part of our core values like extreme ownership, radical candor, consistent communication. And so some of those things were violated and had to be fixed and had to be corrected. And, and so that accountability always starts with the guy at the top, right? Like that's what the whole point of the, the book Extreme Ownership is about. Like he's, he's basically, Jocko is saying like, hey, after all was said and done, what happened on the field, I didn't have anybody to blame but myself. So he looked inwardly. That's what I did. And I'm very much happier for it.